Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to Alephgard on Standard Rules. That's right, we're starting the uh, Dragon Quest Standard Rules on Special Tour, and uh, let's get started. Alephgard is pretty much the same as it was in Easy Rules. Only difference is, well, we're playing with stocks, as you might expect. And I'm sure that it's not, like, completely the same, but same basic idea, same basic shape. It's a really huge board. I'd say it's probably the second biggest board in the game. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, second biggest Dragon Quest by far. A lot of freaking districts. It's a long way to get back to where you were when you started. It's just huge. Let's just say that much. No, I don't want to take a nap. 180, I don't really feel like that would help me too much. Or 130. Um, what do we have over here? 180 and... Okay, 340, that's the winner so far. Yeah, we'll go with 340. So yeah, I did bring uh, Dragon Lord and Angelo here. Uh, they were in the uh, tour mode, but instead of Birdo, I do brought Diddy Kong because I don't know. Diddy Kong was drunk, I guess. I don't know. I like Diddy Kong, and we didn't get to see him very much in this playthrough, so I figured it was a good chance to bring him back. He is probably one of my favorite characters, and when I first heard about this game, I was like, I'm so going to be playing with Diddy Kong, because frickin' chimpanzee in the stock market, that's awesome, but then I found out about how you pretty much have to play with your me the whole time, so then I was like, eh, I guess I'll use frickin' my me, and whenever I play with friends, I guess I can use Diddy Kong or something. Also, a very good start for me. I have a very big property, and I got some good cash out of it, too. Uh, but yeah, on uh, Standard Rules Tour, uh, the goal amount for this board is 25000 That's right, not just 20000 it's 25000 and I believe 25,000 is the biggest amount this game will ever go in tour mode. This board and the last Dragon Quest board are that long. Um, I believe the top Mario one was only 20,000. But yeah, this is essentially the big time. Wait, how'd I... Did I switch with another player? I guess I did. Well then, um, I wasn't expecting that in all honesty. Um, at least I can go back in either direction here. Uh, 200 versus, I'll take 200. So yeah, um, Aleph Guard. It's so weird to think that in uh, two weeks after this board, this project is actually going to be completed. The second half definitely went by faster than the first half. And I know I did make some of the turn games smaller, but I still had a, two boards every week, so it's still the same amount of time. It's been fun, though. I'm glad I did what I did with this project. I really do love this game, and I hope that um, you guys have also enjoyed watching this, as I have playing it. Definitely a very unique game, that's to be certain. In fact, one of the reasons I actually got this game, and I mean, well, 
honestly the whole thing that Mario is a part of it did help as well because you know this game was announced when Mario Party 9 wasn't even on the radar yet uh, people weren't even gonna be sure if Mario Party 9 would even be a thing uh, I think at that point Hudson Soft had a uh, closed one of their divisions, the divisions that specifically worked on, like, Mario Party and Bomberman and all of that. So, I mean, we didn't know very much. I knew Mario Party would continue, but at that point, when was a question that just couldn't be answered, and at the following E3, I saw this game instead, and, uh, me and my good friend Megafreak400 were like, this game looks really cool. It has Dragon Quest, it has Mario, it looks very similar to Monopoly. It's really good, and when I uh, looked closer at this game, I actually noticed that it actually bears a striking resemblance to a similar game. And when I say similar, I mean similar, not the same. A uh, minigame from Samurai Warriors 2. Um, I forgot what exactly they called it, but it was like Sengoku or something where basically it was the same concept you roam around the board you buy properties and uh, in order to gain more money you have to gather all of these flags and meet back at the goalpost so it was you know these flags instead of the actual suits and um, one of the big differences was that Whenever you land on the property, you had to pay, but then you could also challenge the owner to owning that property. You didn't have to buy it out. You had to actually challenge them, which made the game a lot more unique, I think, as opposed to this. I like that system a little better than this system, but not to say this is a bad system. Honestly, buying out, I like the way that works, too. But yeah, that's actually uh, when I really got interested in the game, because I was like, wow, this is a whole entire game, because that was just a mini-game in the version I played before this. So, like, a whole game dedicated to this mini-game that I loved, and, you know, when I saw that, I was like, you know what, I have to get this game. And sure enough, I did. I got it for Christmas the uh, year it came out. When I first got it, I was extremely frustrated with how much I sucked at it. <laughs> but uh, it took a year, and eventually I got better, and uh, at some point I wanted to do a playthrough on it, so that's basically what happened. The whole story of the uh, Fortune Street playthrough. Yeah, I'm going to stop you before you go any further. I hope I change locations here because I really want to go somewhere else. We're all going to Dragon Lord's place. This is not good because if you didn't notice, he's cleaning out this district here. <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. Oh no, it's fine, it's fine. I, it shouldn't be too bad. I think with any of my rolls, I can avoid the possibility of landing on his stuff. Still, though. Of all the people we had to go to, we had to go to Dragon Lord's Island. Okay, let's see. Two. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, that's essentially going to take me further back, though, but that's fine. I honestly would rather get out of there alive without paying so much. Thank God he didn't take any money, because he would have been in a very great position to win. He's out. That's not good. I really don't want to pay and get some more properties and perhaps even start making some stock in this area. Hmm. 
No, you should have went the other way, did he? What am I paying you for? God, Dragon Lord really wants to buy out everything, doesn't he? That's the way it seems, anyway. Okay, what'd you buy stocks in that one? Oh, oh, wow, you have three in that one. Wow, I did not even notice that. Yeah, Angelo's actually cleaning up quite well. He has three in one of them, he has two in another. A few other properties here and there. Ooh, stock market. Yes, I want to go ahead and buy in uh, this little nice district. I'm... That's expensive. Of course I end up in one of the most expensive districts. Well, I'm going to be smart like Angelo and uh, not buy too much right now. I guess he only had one in that di okay, he had he had one property in two different districts. I thought it was the same, but not quite, not quite. Ooh, Diddy, why would you Don't you dare try to piggyback on me, Diddy Kong. Although he does have a property there, so it would make sense. Still though, I don't like that. That would be cool, though, if Diddy Kong, of all people, won this game. Well, he's not going this way yet, so I might be fine, but I... Eh, I better keep this going. Oh! No. Okay, that's fine. For a moment, I thought I got kind of screwed over, but no, I'm good. I still have a freaking long way to go before I get my promotion, though. That's going to be a problem. And I don't like that either. He's he's collecting a lot of money so far. I suppose Donkey Kong got his, like, quick win earlier on in the playthrough, so I guess it's Diddy Kong's turn now. Is that the kind of logic we're dealing with here? up here. Now, stick to going this way. It's shorter. Okay, I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Yeah, he can't buy any stocks right now. Poor, poor Dragon Lord. No, I don't want to buy anything. No, yeah, I want to stop there. I don't want to buy anything there. Thank you. <coughs> <clears throat> Thanks for finally listening to me, game. Yeah, we need to make sure Diddy loses some of that money, because... Again, I don't like the way he is in right now, the position he's in. Not a good one. No, not that way. Oh, especially not that way. No, not that way. 
go back around. I'll go ahead and buy that. Actually, I just realized something. How did I get the spade in the first place? Because didn't I have to... Didn't I... Or did I... I don't remember where I warped to. I thought it was past the spade, though, so I don't remember grabbing that. Dang it. <clears throat> Angelo, is this because I personated you during uh, Robin Hood Ruins? Because if it is, uh, it was all Wario's fault. Go be mad at him. Yeah, he's gonna go immediately in that district. I'm not surprised. As for Dragon Lord, I'm just kind of unsure with him right now. He has a lot of shops and that middle section completely to his own. And he's getting some free stock out of it. Honestly can't say he's doing that terribly or anything. Shops expand and districts picked at random. Okay. That is all right with me. Just don't get a big head from this ditty because I didn't mean to help you out with that. And that's good because that's going to increase the stock there with... Uh, Making Dragon Lord pay a little extra for that. And then that district where nobody owns anything. Oh, A Angelo did have something in there, but he had to sell it. Also, I don't remember if I said this last time, but uh, the background for this board still looks like a golf course. That's what it really reminds me of. God. Way to hoard in this district before I have a chance to invest in more in it. that because I believe I get a roll again. Yes, I do. Hooray. Six. I'll, whatever. I'll pay him and get it over with. Just like a band-aid. Gotta yank it right off. Do not hesitate. Okay, now he's going to have to start selling some of that stock, which that's good. Oh. You're decreasing it. 
Well, hey, I mean, I can buy more. That's good. Oh, you barely have any ready cash. You have... Oh, and you're in last place anyway, so... Yeah, I guess it didn't matter that much. <clears throat> okay, let's, uh, yeah, finish this up. No, not 45. Thankfully, that's not terribly bad. That's not good, though, because... I still have kind of a long way back. Oh, he is doing that on frickin' purpose. Again, it's nice, because I won't have to pay as much for it, but... Just the fact that he is purposefully decreasing all those... Kinda sucks. Dang it! Well, it didn't matter. I was gonna get killed on that next turn anyway. Stupid rock and stupid mimic chest. Yeah, I believe those things are called mimics. And the boulders are rock bombs. That's right, even though I don't know anything about this series, I still pay attention to the names. It's the kind of guy who I am. Details are important to me. He's going to invest it there. That's okay, though. That's okay. That does help me a little bit, too. Why do you invest there? There's, like, nothing there. Dragon Lord, are you drunk? It really seems like it. Okay, yeah, he's definitely going to invest down there again. I should just invest as much as I can in there. I mean, he has a lot of stock in there as it is, but... Hey, I mean, there's not much I can really do about it. Okay, well, let's uh, see what we can do. It's not a very big pay packet. God, I can't even get up to a hundred. Let's go with this, I guess. I know it's not terribly much, but... Not much else I can do at the moment. 
That's bad. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, wow. So what? I got money from someone who only had, like, very little gold. It was Diddy Kong. Yeah, I got 10%. That wasn't worth it. That was not even worth it at all. Haha, <laughs> take that. That's what you get for getting that extra set of cards, Diddy. Let's face it, that was pretty much handed to you. Putting a shop for auction? Okay, sure. Let's, uh... Let's get another shop. Why not? Since he was so nice to put it up for auction, anyway. I know, Dragon Lord being nice. I know that's kind of a weird thing, but... I can tell he had his reasons. Nope, not that way. Yeah, I'll do this. Not gonna expand anything yet, though. I'm gonna wait till I can kind of bridge the cap between me and Diddy before I start investing. Gap, it needs to be bridged. Oh, God. Not really. Yeah, that was honestly just too much. Maybe later. Because, yeah, I could just... I don't know. I could just take the money I've earned from that district and just get out of there if I wanted to, but... I'll wait on that. Again, though, it's nice to see the Dragon Lord in last place. It's not going to be for long, I know, but still. Okay, let's go ahead, finish off this line. Hmm, okay, cool. I like this because I might be able to take advantage of him. That sounds terribly wrong, but I did not mean it in the bad way, I promise. Oh 
god. Now I have to catch up. That's not gonna be fun. Yeah, especially when that happens. There he goes, decreasing the price again. That's not good. Four. I'm gonna take my chances, see if I can maybe catch up with uh, Mr. Slimeball there. I know that's a big risk, but, well, hey, I got rewarded for waiting anyway. It's fine with me. Plus, yeah, I have less movements to get to that middle part of the left side than what he has to do to get there now. If they're gonna keep following it like this, he's gonna get suit yourself cards too, and that sucks. I mean, that really, really freaking sucks. Alrighty, let's see. Well, if I do this, I will be the majority leader. Even if I got 20, I'd be the majority leader, but I want to go for 30. I'll go for 30. I want to make sure that I keep some good money here. Okay, Healy. Healy, you need to do something for me. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. So there, I'm going to get a card next turn. I'll get the heart because I had to skip that one. And uh, I'll be on my merry way. Alright. I like that. I like the way this is working. Oh god. Angelo's making a big move here. Oh god, he is. Alright, that's gonna give me more. And I like that because when I start expanding mine, that's gonna be more money to me as opposed to him. For auction, really? I'll take it. Hey, more properties I have, the more I can expand. The more chances I have to expand, rather. Plus, if I can uh, get them to pay me a little more cash, that's all right with me. Okay, let's see. I'll take a card from you. Hearts, that's what I was going to get. Um, nope, not that way. Really don't want to go that way either, though. I'll bite the bullet and hope that Diddy doesn't get a huge number. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh. I wanted to stay, you to stay around for a little longer. That would have been fun. Would have been very, very fun, but no. He had to go away. Oh, gosh. He is... Ashalo is playing a risky game here, but... This is the kind of game that easily wins. The game Diddy is playing is mind games worthy enough to work. That's scary. That's very, very scary. I'm not gonna expand yet. I'm gonna make sure I get home first. decided to go for that. So he has now two districts with three properties apiece. <clears throat> That's kind of scary. That's actually kind of very scary. Anything that makes me move faster, I suppose, is a good thing. This is not a good thing. I suppose he can technically do that, though. I mean, hell, it's... Give him what he needs. Expands his shop with very little penalty, so maybe I should start doing that. I just want to make sure I can pull away from Diddy Kong if I do start doing that. Please let it be my district. I don't think anyone is working there. But yes, okay. Yeah, that... It always seems whenever I play this board, that's what Drakenlord... That's where he ends up, and that's where he ends up staying the whole game. And he usually builds that up really powerfully, so... God knows what's gonna happen there. Oh, God knows what's going to happen here, too. He has some very powerful stock right there. But he's going to get rid of them now because... Yeah, what does he need them? He expanded all he could. 